New tonight, the Portsmouth Police Chief hosted a forum on violent crime. And it comes after a deadly weekend in the city. Officers responded to two different shootings within 24 hours, leaving three men hurt and one man dead. Shane Fordham joins us in the studio after speaking with the police chief and community activists. Absolutely. Well, the weekend violence really reinforced the importance of tonight's police forum, allowing for citizens to both hear from and speak to police chief Stephen Jenkins about the rise in crime within their community. Tonight, local pastor Barry Randall Jenkins called for Portsmouth Police Chief Stephen Jenkins to stop crime or step down. And what I'm asking Chief Jenkins to do, do your job, sir, or go ahead and retire, because we're tired of the many excuses that you are giving us here in the city of Portsmouth. At this point, if he can't lead, he needs to lead. The community don't need you after someone's son, someone's grandson, someone's brother, someone's father was killed. They need you beforehand. The chief responding saying improving police officer response time is one of his main focuses in combating crime, and he made it clear that he doesn't intend to step down from this fight. I'm not about um, going to a back and forth with anybody, right? Uh, as a police chief, I'm pouring my heart and soul into this community. Um, and those who want to be realistic about what we're doing recognize that. The chief spoke to the community tonight at his quarterly chief's forum to discuss the current crime rates and what can be done to decrease violence in the area. Uh, you know, it's easy for folks to sit back and point a finger uh, and always point out the problems. But uh, the part of this is that this is a major issue that everybody has a part to play. Jenkins explained the Portsmouth Police Department is doing the best it can with the resources it has. He said the police department needs more resources in order to properly police Portsmouth. You're asking me right now to play a championship football game against Tom Brady at his prime with six players and you're expecting me to win. He also said that in order to properly combat crime in Portsmouth, the community itself has to be willing to speak up and speak out against violence in their neighborhoods. Community activist Daryl Redmond speaks to that point. There's strength in numbers. So if the numbers and strength come in and say, I'm not going to tolerate this inside our communities, then it's not going to happen. Portsmouth Mayor Shannon Glover also spoke at the forum tonight, and he said his priority is safety. It's, it, it's important for the community to work with the police department to reduce crime. Shane Fordham, 13 News Now.